Hi guys, if you hear any background noise, it's talking relatives and watching the TV there in a cranky mood, so I'm not going to ask them to turn anything down, and I've got a fan inside my door. So, the storyline, I didn't have enough time to press record before it started, so the storyline is, um, somebody stole a psychiatrist's two gold bars that he had in his safe, apparently they're current Keith gold bars, and we're paranormal activity investigators, and I have to go check out his house. But first, I'm going to go over here. And get this, because you do need it later. Wait a minute. I'm going to look in here. And get that. Okay. Because I'm going to need it. But you don't give it back to him. I assume you're Kevin the Paranormal Investigator. Yes, I am. Please tell me what happened. Last week, someone stole two gold bars from me. I placed them in the safe behind my diploma. As I watched the surveillance video, I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. You can clearly see the diploma moving by itself and someone or something entering my secret code on the safe. The police couldn't find any prints or anything, so I'm sure I'm dealing with a ghost here. Can I see the surveillance video? Of course. And watch this is freaky. <laughs> mm. It sure looks suspicious. I'll start my investigation. You take the key. You get the SMS. I have a new client. Thomas Marshall also says he was not by a ghost. Hello, I'm Kevin, a paranormal investigator. Hello, I'm Thomas Marshall, a humble piano teacher at the Vortex Music School. Oh, and by the way, that closet with the vent at the bottom and in the pharmacy, in the um, psychologist house, he don't want you to go in it. And Kevin says, note to self, he may be hiding something in it. Please tell me what happened here. Someone has stolen two gold bars from me. I hid them while inside my piano, and now they're gone. The police were here and couldn't find any prints or sign of a break in. I think I just lost them. Can you believe that this is an outrage? Had, do you know the local psychiatrist, McGinnis? I may have heard of him, but I'm not sure. What does that have to do with my gold bars? It seems that someone has stolen some gold bars from McGinnis, too. That's a weird coincidence, but nothing more. I'm sorry I'm reading fast. I'm just trying to get it all done. Maybe I'll start my maybe I'll start my investigation. Note to self. Ask Caroline to find out if there's any link between Ms. McGinnis and Mr. Marshall. I'm talking fast because I want to be able to finish in time. And, uh, you want to go back to headquarters? What about that pizza? I'm starving. There appears to be a man, Gary Porter, who took piano lessons to Thomas Marshall. He won four gold bars at a local music, con at local music contest five years ago. A week later, the very same, Gary Porter was admitted to a maximum security mental institution by Dr. McGinnis. He's been there ever since. Can I go there? Guess not. Okay, so what you want to do is you go back to Dr. Minkins' house and I'll show you about the closet. This is what happens when you try to answer the closet. Oh, please don't go in there. It's just a storage room. I can assure you you won't find any clues in there. No, just self. He may be hiding something in there. So what you do, you take the sleeping syrup because I tried to give it to the pizza guy at first, but it wouldn't let me see so you take it and put it on the piece of pizza. Don't eat it. Give it to him. Because he says all the tension has made him hungry. So you give it to him, put it on there and give it to him. Oh, thank you, I'm starving. Hmm, I'm feeling a bit sleepy. It's locked, so I'll play the key. Explosives. Keep away and years. I think it was nine, five, seven, eight. It's the same thing on the video. Another key in a note. There's an address here. 2956 Vineyard Drive. I'd better check it out. He probably tells you it's expensive so you don't move it. It's too dark to see inside and I have nothing to remove the boards with.
scary pores. Um, you do have something important. Okay, I'm going to go back to here. See if I can click around. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to pause, watch the walkthrough, and uh, you won't um, be sitting here while I'm sitting here, though, because I'm going to uh, pause it, and I'll just keep going. Okay, now we have to go to the pharmacy. I know I'm a cheater, but sometimes I can't figure it out. Pink flyer. Private piano lessons. First lesson is free. Call now. Thomas P. Marshall. 555-1344. Then you go to headquarters. Caroline, take a look at this pink ad. Do you think you can call Thomas and keep him busy while I sniff around his house? Yes, no problem. I'll call him right away. You can go there now. Keep the ad. I memorized the number. Why would you need to memorize the number? But anyway, okay. Excuse me, I have a potential student on the phone. Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. Sorry, Caroline, so you were saying how you want to learn how to play the piano? Okay, I need to look. I need to go get that music sheet now, because I didn't. Hello, sir, how may I help you? Uh oh, sorry, hold on. I'm investigating a crime that concerns one of the school's teachers, Mr. Thomas Marshall. Dear God, what happened? It seems to have been burglary at his house. Do you know of any enemies I have? Burglary. No, Mr. Thomas is one of our favorite music teachers. Okay, thank you for your help. Take the music sheet and leave. Okay, look at the music sheet. Then look all the way from there. All the way third to last. That must not have been the right key then. Hold on, we'll get the right key. Two, three, six, okay. Okay, I played one more key, but I want to look because I can't possibly have it on one. They can't possibly have the whole. So the last three you have to do. They do, so what's with that? That's supposed to do something. Okay, I'm going to watch the walkthrough and see how they do it because it's not doing anything for me. Okay, apparently it goes to notes on the flyer, so I'm going to go by the dots. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, let's see if I can play this right. No. I don't know how many minutes it's going to take me to memorize how they do it. Okay. Okay, I was going to keep it on pause while I did that part. But it brought down this 
ladder as you can see and we're gonna go up it um looks like an alarm system we take this it behind it um no glass 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 okay there Another freaking key. The psycho is located in Wing C at the Vortex Flight Mental Hospital. Seven two star six. Right. Okay. Seven two star six. Oh, I got it. Seven two star six. Yet she's still eating pizza while she says that. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> yes, how may I help you? I'm on this nap. I'm here to see Gary N. Porter. Gary Porter? That's impossible. In order to open this room door, you'll need two sets of keys that only Dr. McGinnis has. Why do you need to see Gary Porter? I believe he's somehow connected to a weird crime I'm investigating. That's impossible. Mr. Porter is isolation. It has been in isolation for the past five years. He has no contact with the outside world. Dr. McGinnis says he's a danger to society and himself. So you're saying there's no way he got out of this hospital? Nope. That's this door to your right is to Wing C and it's guarded by a nurse 24-7. Let's just see the mess from Caroline. Come to the office. I think we have a breakthrough. Oh, I have two sets of keys and a password. Why do I have to leave? I almost got it. Oh, hmm, Caroline is in here. She's probably at the other side of the office. What do you have so far? I think Dr. McGinnis and Thomas Marshall are responsible for Gary's admission to the mental hospital. That makes sense. Gary won four gold bars and about a week later he'd been committed. Then suddenly McGinnis gets two gold bars and Thomas gets the other two. Okay, we've only got a minute left. Alright, so who sold the gold bars from them and who murdered McGinnis and Thomas? I think we're dealing with a case of astral projection. Sitting tied up in the mental hospital must have given Gary the ability to travel outside of his physical body and get and get even with the two men who did this to him. And there's an easy way to prove it. I think you'll find the gold bars in Gary's house. That's the only place he would hide them. His house is blocked with wooden boards. Take my magical crowbar. Magical? Okay, I've only got half a minute left. Well, 20 seconds. So, you guys can figure out the ending while I play the ending. So I will see you guys later, and bye! Oh, by the way, tomorrow we play Vortex Point Case 2. Bye!